Hi, welcome to Love is the Word. We'll be joining with our women's group in just a few moments. I wanted to remind us of a few truths that we need to accept. You can only change you. You cannot change others. Life is not always fair. And to move forward, we have to be able to radically accept. We also want to talk about the Agape Foundations. We want to really be able to take the time to become self-aware. This is the longest part of our journey is becoming self-aware and it's a daily process. As we become self-aware and understand what our buttons are, we want to be able to control our behaviors and to choose what behaviors we would like to have despite the situation. Then we want to have that social awareness and relationship building because we tend to think that situations occur and we just react. The thing is, we want to be right. We want people to agree with us. And actually, a person or a situation happens. Thoughts, consciousness, and unconscious happen without our bidding, so we believe. And sometimes that's true. Our brains become automated. And our brains do register feelings and they evoke emotions. And I have to tell you that we do choose our behaviors. We'll just have to learn to take the time to do so. We want to practice slowing down and feeling because people matter. We matter. Life around us matters. And though our brains have a very powerful emotional center, the amygdala, we also have the ability to stop and think because we have a logical brain. And we can use it with our emotional brain, which gives us such great information, to have mental wisdom response. We get to choose our behavior, and that is so free. And I wanted you guys to meet so much friends today. And, oh, what am I saying? Sorry. Family. Because I really don't have friends. I have family. And whether they're blood-related or not blood-related, they become family because the one thing that I've learned is when you accept people as family, then you're able to say, I might not like your behavior, but I love you. And that's what we want to be able to do. And the other thing is, Today I wanted you to meet some of my family because I wanted you to see and and try to feel what it was like to have people around you that really just care about you, just really love you. Because this is this is really important. You know, let me talk a little science here. Oh, um, not too much because I know that boy here. Look, right? our brains release oxytocin, and they release some other chemicals too. When we feel good, when we have people tell us that we look good, you did a good job, why I really love being around you, it releases oxytocin. And we're able to, in our brains, be a, um, to have emotions that start to connect with one another. Because emotions are very contagious. It's more contagious than the common cold and the flu. So if you have people around, or you're being able to say to yourself some positive and great things about yourself and other people, you're going to feel good. It's kind of like endorphins when you run. Now, I'm not a runner, but I love being around people. And I love it when people feel good. And I always think, how do people feel when they leave me? I want people to feel good when they leave me. Even when I try to tell them the truth, or when I've had to listen to a truth that I needed to know. And one thing I can tell you about my family is they're going to tell me the truth because they love me. And that's what we do here at Love is the Word. We're going to work towards learning how to have your boundaries and being able to listen to other people's boundaries too. To really have your ability to say to someone else, you know, I really like what you did. And really mean it. So, enough of me. Let's start with all the ladies here. We have... We just have our mom run across the camera. <laughs> Totally
is not scripted here. Yeah. Okay, this is what it's we do. Script. So that's okay. little Miss Leo. This is real. This yeah. is real. Yeah. Right next to me is Miss Jackie. And we are, we're going to go around the room in just a moment and introduce all of the family that's here. And we're going to talk about how we felt before we came, just kind of what our week was like before we came, just a few things. And then we're going to talk about how we felt since we've been here. All right? So, all right. Now it's all good, because this is how we roll. This is how we roll. We do it all. We do it comfortably. We're not in a classroom setting, because you got plenty of people out there in the world who do that. We there's do no scripts. scripts. There's no scripts. Right? This is real. This is my mom. Okay? Miss Diana Beavers. She became my mom in 2000. When did you give birth to me? 2003. I know I look good, Don. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's my mom because she, we call it sitting on the front porch. And, and you'll see that with a lot of people of color. We have front porches. That's where we learn a lot from our elders. Right? And all of us have sat on the front porch. So you're going to hear her talking, you're going to hear Jackie talking as we go around the room. There is my sister, Me and Mana Hilda. And we all put everything here. <laughs> and we all put everything here. We all put everything here. We all put everything here. Yeah. So we do have a, uh, uh, an interpreter in the room. <laughs> Exactly. Yes, exactly. and I feel very blessed to be here today, yeah. and very fortunate, and to be with people that I sincerely feel is here. Yes. And that <laughs> I have a sister, now I have a new friend, and her daughter, our granddaughter, I know she looked good, I was going to say her daughter, but it's her granddaughter. Okay, we're going to pop the youth will be video number two. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm just here, and my, my, my niece, Nandi, here, mm -hmm. and my nephew's videotaping. Yes. yes. And Grace and behind the camera. Uh, and there's Ryan, mm -hmm. and we have Nia uh -huh. in, right there. So we are, we're seeing everybody here today. And, and I really wanted to ask each one of you, just kind of tell me something about just anything that happened this week that just didn't feel good to you. Just let's just go around the world. It's all good. Thank you for joining part one of our women's group. I just want to remind us that we get to decide what our behaviors are going to be. We have the power to change ourselves and therefore change our environment. Thank you for joining Love is the Word. Come on back for part two.